Today we're going to be making something that's really nice and light, fire bread, and I'm not going to be doing it alone because I have the help of my good friend, Tio Lingahu. What's up, Tio? You might recognize this guy from the show Shortland Street. He plays the character of Dr. Hawks Logan. Hey. 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 So we'll start off, so we just need this little bowl here. Pour in flour. Yeast. Yeast. What's this? Sugar. Now we're going to put that milk in. So for all you aunties at home that are like, oh, he's putting milk in there. Hey, trust the process. Trust okay? the process? Yeah. Man. Oh, there it is. There it is, there it is. Okay. And then last but not least, just some water. Just aids to a How we break this down is this is kind of the wet, and then the next part will be the dry, and then we put them together to sort of make our dough. There we go, that's looking good now. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just don't want to kind of be biting into like, you know, someone makes you a biscuit. And you get those little pockets of flour and it just pockets explodes. Of, it's just yeah. the worst thing. And it'll put you off the biscuit, you know. One bad biscuit can kill all those biscuits. All those biscuits. They'll be like, who put the hand in the cookie jar? No one, because you put too much flour in there. <laughs> it's looking nice and good. So what you want to do is just leave that on the side. You kind of want to let that just sort of rest for about 10 minutes in a warm place in the kitchen. And then we get to our second stage is we're going to put the flour in the big bowl, a little bit of salt, two tablespoons of oil. Now we're going to combine the wet with the dry and we're kind of going to just fold it over, you know, give it a fold. So it's not like a mix there, like hard out mixing, but not mixing. No, you don't want to mix it. You don't want to over mix it either. So that's looking all right. So what we need to do now is just add a bit of glab wrap over top of that. I'm a wrapper. Oh. How long should we leave it to rest for? Oh, time? probably about 30, 40 minutes, but uh, we'll see in like one second. <laughs> that was fast, eh? Okay, yeah. So what we're doing now is we're just gonna roll it out. All right. And we want it to be about two centimeters thick, and then we're gonna cut out our pieces. Don't forget to flour your bench, okay? Get it on there. There we go, yeah. You just want to use sort of a cup. Oh, See? there we go. We're going to put these close together, cover them with a tea towel. Clean. Clean tea, tea towel. towel. Not one that you've mopped the floor with. <laughs> Otherwise, you're having fried bacteria. <laughs> so we're going to leave that for another 15 minutes. All right, so what I've got now, I've got half a pot of uh, canola oil, yeah. and we've just heated that up, got it nice and hot. You don't want to burn yourself. You don't want it to splash and get you in the eye. So you really just gently want to just place that in there like so. Ooh. And that's just going to start turning over and turning into our, what we like to call fried bread. Nice. Once they go uh, kind of nice golden, you just kind of put those in there. Nice. Rotate. So we want to let these sort of drain for a couple of minutes. Mm. And that's just uh, for a safety thing as well with the oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want it to pocket any oil. Yeah, sweet. All right, brother, now what we want to do is we're going to transfer them to our display plate. We just sort of want to have a nice wee stack. We'll cut one open. Auntie's fry bread special, you put a bit of butter <laughs> in there. A bit of jam on that side. Yeah, man. There we go. And there you have it. Our fried bread by Shortland Street Zone, Tione Kahi. Oh, thanks for having me, mate. Cheers, pleasure, bro. Mm. Let the crew try them out, pass them around. Yeah, <laughs> you can have fried bread, you can have fried bread, fried bread for everybody. Oh, yeah.